when Steve and I were first married, he said, will you promise me to keep this going? And it was an easy promise because it was a small block of land with a couple of staff. And I reflected on that conversation when he passed because now it was big. And I didn't have this larger than life character who everybody wanted to meet and talk about and visit and experience. It was just me. Good boy. Right here, Al, come on. But come on. Steve always said, it's not about me, it's about my message. Woo, good boy, Al. I do feel a groundswell in the world, and I think there are a lot of people who are recognizing that humanity and wildlife aren't two separate issues, that we're intrinsically linked. If you've got a message and something important to say, and you have the opportunity to reach a greater audience, I think it's important. Step up and don't keep your light under a bushel. You know, shine for the whole world. Steve and I often talked about our big dream for Australia Zoo, to make it the best, most hands-on zoological facility on planet Earth. And what that means is that people can actually meet everything. So you're not looking at it, you're in with it. It's important for the animals, for us, and it reconnects people with wildlife again. I love learning from Mum. She is the strongest woman I have ever known. I feel like every single day I'm learning something new from her. Every single day is different. I might be helping relocate crocodiles. How many kids get to say their mother jumps on crocs and you are amazing? I might be getting dressed up for a red carpet event for one of our Wildlife Warriors fundraising dinners. I might be consoling a staff member about the loss of an animal or deciding where we're gonna go from here for the future planning of the zoo. Anthony, I love you so much. Thank you for coming. Our role needs to be not only reaching people. Oh, look, do, do you have any food? Excuse me. But being good role models. What is the best animal that you've seen so far today? Good answer. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Thank you. Oh, so I was hoping smart. somebody would say red panda, but oh well. So smart.